Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And as you can see on your screen, the title is Walmart looks to remove all cashiers from stores. All right, now this is from Fox 5. This is an article and a video, and I'll play the video in a minute. But you can see that the vision is yet for this appointed time, as is written in Habakkuk. And that vision represents prophecy. All right, so, you know, this is a major superstore, okay, that's around the, you know, around the world, Walmart. And, you know, they're taking away their cashiers from the stores. Eventually, all the Walmarts will be the same and even other stores. And what is this uh, headed headed into? The buying and selling. All right. Which really is going to really, really going to get down to the mark of the beast, which is Revelations 13 and 16 through 18. All right. This here is also in Revelations 13 chapter because this is the image of the beast. The image of the beast is the system. All right, so this is the system that's in fact. All right, this is eventually going to be new norm. So let's read a little bit. It says the retailer is removing cashiers and standard conveyor belt lines at one of its popular superstores in Fairville, Arkansas. Walmart says it's an attempt to see if checkout times are faster while limiting human interaction in the age of the coronavirus. So you see that this corona, this corona. C-19 virus have basically set the stage, okay? You know, the next level for their new world order, okay? And they even talk about it's supposed to be a second wave coming October, you know? So this coronavirus hoax done basically set the stage so that they can gear us into this, uh, they can gear us down this road and this path of tracking, all right. You know, even though this may seem convenient, but it's going to lead into the buying and selling, getting into what that mark of the beast. All right. So it says um, workers will still be available to help customers who have trouble doing the checkout themselves. Depending on the success of the test run, Walmart could expand the program to more stores and you know it's going to be a success. You know it's going to be a success. This is bullshit. All right. This is the new norm. It says the retailer recently launched a touch-free payment system also aimed to, at helping mitigate the spread of the coronavirus. So it says a touch-free payment. Keywords, touch-free payment. You know, maybe i look that up. Touch-free payment. Let me for a second. Okay. It says the retailer recently launched a touch-free payment system. Payment system also aimed at helping mitigate the spread of the coronavirus. Health officials ordered the closure of a Walmart in a sub suburban Denver in April after three people connected to the store died after being infected with the coronavirus and at least six employees tested positive. All right. So that's the end of this article. Let me uh Okay, I might look that up in a little bit. Um I'm gonna play this. Matter of fact, before I play the video, let me go to a scripture. This is Habakkuk chapter two and three. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And that vision represents prophecy. All right? Prophecy. And that and this prophecy is is we're down we're headed in the path where Esau Edom is gonna force RFID microchips, all right, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, right now they're talking about a forced vaccine, you know, a forced digital vaccine, you know, which is really leading into what? You know, got everybody, it's really leading into the word gradualism. 
something called gradualism. So it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And it's speaking. Okay? It's speaking and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All right? So, like I said, uh, gradualism. I looked this word up. Google, quick Google search. Gradualism. It says a policy of gradual reform rather than sudden change or revolution. All right. So a policy of gradual reform rather than sudden change. So that's what this is. OK. A gradual reform. It says rather than sudden change or revolution. So what this is is gradualism. All right. People going to get used to this. Eventually, all the stores are going to do it. And next is going to be the chips. All right. The implants. OK, so let's play this video. Testing out a store that only does self checkout. The retail giant is removing cashiers and standard conveyor belt lines at one of its popular superstores in Arkansas. Walmart says this is an attempt to see if overall checkout times are faster while limiting human interaction in the age of the virus. Sales associates will be available to help customers with the checkout process if needed. Depending on the success of the test run, Walmart could expand the program to more stores. And I'm sure it has nothing to do with cutting back on their employees. Employees. All right, so it has nothing to do with cutting back on their employees. All right, so now um, I just want to look this word up and see what it what it gives. Just want to see. see. Bear with me. Okay, I put in um oh touch free payment system meaning. So what we have, quick search, it says, touch-free transactions, allowing you to take a payment without making contact with a shared device. A remote payment options might be top of mind for your business. Here's how you can in, in, implement a variety of methods for safety. All right, so it's all in the name of safety. All right, and a touch-free transaction has to deal with radio frequency identification chips or let's say radio frequency chips all right uh NF nfc near fear communication chips so if you got your credit card and you got the chip on there you can swipe without touching you know and that's why we're in this time all right for that vision matter of fact let me pull the scripture up real quick Oh, this is Job. I had that too. Um, let me go here. Just going to Revelation. Revelations 13 and 16. Now I'm going to read from 15. This is Revelations 13, 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Now the image of the beast is the system. All right. The system. It says that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. So if you don't apply with receiving these chips in your body, the mark of the beast, then you're going to be killed because it's according to his system. This is this what he called the new world order. All right. It says um, verse 16, and he calls of all both small and great. And it making me think of auto, 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 uh, no, excuse me. It says, verse 16, and he calls of all, oh, excuse me, <laughs> auto ap chaos, order out of chaos, you know, and that's why you can see the Black Lives Matters plan of playing a part funded by George, Re, uh, George um, Soros, all right, and these uh, agencies and Tifa, while they out there, um, you know, in Seattle now holding down blocks, you know, the rioting, the looting. Because they need chaos, order out of chaos. All right, this is why that is in effect. So, verse 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. 
You see that? So the vision is speaking, man, all right, of this prophecy of the mark of the beast. It says in that no man might buy or sell because eventually, all right, after this gradualism plays its, plays its part, you know, it's going to be forced. You're not going to be able to buy nor sell, okay, from stores, from anywhere without this mark. Paying homage to the to the system. All right. It says, um, here is wisdom. Let him to have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score and six. All right. So um, let me read this. This is Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Now, this is toward these Edomites. Okay. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. And what did this mean? This means when he's accomplishing his goal. Okay. When he's he's in, in the strive of accomplishing his, uh, his mission. All right. Which is the RFID microchip everyone. So while he's eating, the Lord is going to cast the fury of his wrath upon him. It says, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bull still shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yea, the glittery sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. And that's talking ultimately about those thermonuclear missiles. When they come out their silos, the Most High is going to destroy Babylon the Great. He's going to destroy these Edomites kingdom. All right. Because doing this is crossing the line. All right. Um, I know I had another scripture, so like, yeah, okay, I had lost my train of thought for a second. Um, I want to bring this scripture out real quick. This is Joel 5 and, uh, verse 12. It says he disappointed. Matter of fact, I'm going to read from, uh, let's read from, uh, verse 7. No, I'll read from eight. It says, I will seek unto Yahweh, and unto Yahweh will I commit my cause, which do of great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number, who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the floods. All right, that's Yahweh. It says, verse 11, to set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exhorted to safety. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that they can, their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Okay, so the Most High disappointed the crafty, which is Esau. Okay, and it says so that they cannot perform their enterprise, which is their new world order. Okay, this agenda that they've been uh, headed towards for many years now. All right, and they set the stage starting with 9-11. So anyway, verse 13. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet in darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday at night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. All right, so that's basically the point I wanted to make. I hope this lesson was edifying. All right, you got gradualism going on. Um, You know, Walmart. Must have lost it. Okay, here we go. Walmart is now uh, removing all cashiers from stores. It's supposed to be a test run at the location of Fairville, uh, Arkansas. All right. But you know this is a done deal. It ain't no test run. It's going to be a new norm. So I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.